Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today I want to get into a quick video, right, about CEO Bobby. Now, it's being reported that, as y'all know, he has been locked up already. Um, Some people saying carjacking attempted. Um, he, Well, he attempted to carjack somebody, and then other reports came out that he just had, like, some drug paraphernalia on him. Some marijuana, whatever the case. He was in possession of some type of drugs, right? During a traffic stop or whatever it was. But long story short, he's supposed to be locked up. And with him being locked up, he has also been in question about Young Dolph's murder. Now, after that, it came out that he actually confessed to being involved in Young Dolph's murder, but he's also a legend. We're gonna say allegedly. But he's alleging that the cookie shop are the real ones who had Dolph actually set up. And you know it's crazy. When I first heard this, I'm like, bugging. You know, it looks like some bull crap, right? But at the end of the day, all of this actually ties into um what I was saying in the video I did covering this when I said how did they manage to come with machine guns and shoot this man through the glass with just him being in there right or the workers as well but him being the only one that ended up dying nobody else got shot nobody else got so much as grazed and we seen from the pictures they showed us that they had um automatic weapons all right so we're gonna get into all that but it's gonna be quick but before we do make sure you like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and i swear i swear i swear i swear it's lit here so join one of the latest games on youtube so you can stay updated with some of the realest content now let's get straight into it now your boy ceo bobby right um it's been so much reports and so much things that tie him to this young Dolph murder and um, putting him involved that is crazy I'm talking about down to people saying his keys uh, from the money he's flowing all of a sudden to just a whole bunch of things that's that's another video but what we're gonna talk about now is him allegedly saying that the cookie shop are the ones that actually had young Dolph set up right and it makes you think because one thing we do know about the cookie shop for sure is that their stories does not add up you see what i'm saying the stories do not add up so at the end of the day i always tell y'all where there's smoke there's fire once you lie about something at the end of the day that means the truth is somewhere buried in that lie and you gotta find the truth now also, you got to remember, if y'all had nothing to do with it, why lie? You know, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think the girl is the one who said, uh, I think the father called or somebody, like the father called and told him about what happened and he was performing CPR or telling Dolph to stay with him, whatever the case may be. Then it's, I think he said he pulled up. It, it, it's a, it's all over YouTube Alright At the end of the day If you want to find this all over YouTube I never did a video on it Because it was too much videos out there Pointing out the obvious And I don't got You know I I like trying to be Original But anyway Back to what I was talking about Now For one They stories don't add up They got two different stories And not to mention I always go back to this one thing Why was it That they was able to shoot this man through the glass and he was the only one that got hit that died that's it like nobody got grazed nobody else got shot these guys are either perfect shooters <laughs> like some sharp shooters or something is fishy you see what i'm saying and you gotta remember you never know who's tied to who these days and i like i explained to y'all before that man was not followed like a lot of the stories i see out there it just don't make sense it's like a, it's like an insult to somebody's intelligence to, with all these stories that's flying around they're like oh he was followed oh he was by himself now once again like i said he was not by himself and that proved to be accurate because of two things before we even seen the 
so-called picture of the guy running after the car like he about to shoot with a gun but had but when they found the car it was no bullet uh, uh shattering it was no nothing the window wasn't shattered the car didn't have no bullet holes no nothing right but before all that our witnesses on the scene it was a lady i never forget on youtube she has a video up she was there she said that young Dolph was with somebody Yo, Nazo, turn right up. and my whole thing is this if he was with somebody why didn't that somebody do anything and before the pictures came out of this whoever this mysterious man was that was running at the car i told y'all that he was with somebody when everybody was trying to say he was alone or he was with somebody who do y'all know that's going to be riding with y'all and y'all mans and y'all see somebody killing your mans pretty much in your face and you just sit there but anyway once again like i said um so like i said ceo bobby saying that the cookie shop has some type of involvement they the ones that actually set them up we don't know who that that girl is tied to we don't know who the cookie shop is tied to so who knows you know and not to mention at the end of the day right y'all gotta peep what's going on because it seems like everything is slowly unveiling itself and y'all going for the most some of y'all are going for the most obvious and it's, it's never like that sometimes the most obvious is just bull crap it's a distraction you gotta really pay attention now i'm not saying the cookie shop had anything to do with it this is all alleged but certain things just aren't adding up you see what i'm saying the way this man was taken out how fast they pulled up to that cookie shop it's almost like they knew he was going to be there it wasn't nobody following no none of that man let me tell you when somebody following you could definitely tell when somebody's following so all that oh he's a, no you see what i'm saying from the person being in the car and not doing anything while the dolph was being um shot to nobody in, nobody else in the cookie shop being shot or harmed in any way down to no bullet holes being in the car no nothing it's a lot going on y'all but anyway i'm not gonna dry you out with this video like i said um your boy ceo bobby he's a legend that the cookie shop actually has some type of involvement my thing is this right if they did have some type of involvement in it right let's hypothetically speak right if they did have some type of involvement in it where did that come from where did that hit where did that like where did it come from you see what i'm saying that's something we got to think about if they did have some type of involvement where what, like who appointed that I don't know, man. Anyway, like I said, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. As of right now, your boy CEO Bobby is a legend that the cookie shop is the one, I mean, all the ones who have some type of involvement in it. Uh, as we know right now, it, it, it kind of makes sense. They story change um, down to nobody else being shot but Dolph, and he was hit with machine guns, automatic weapons, or whatever. It's a lot going on, man. Uh, I'm going to keep updating y'all as things go on. And we're gonna keep it at that. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as y'all keep on watching, I'm gonna keep on dropping. And I'm out.